I'm in my kitchen whipping up homemade holiday gifts. I've got some chocolate peppermint shortbread in the oven and now I'm going to make some homemade stovetop potpourri. This potpourri makes an excellent gift. It's made using dried ingredients so that you can jar it all up and give to family and friends as a beautiful homemade gift. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Don't forget you can print this recipe out by visiting my blog at boxofavenue.com. I've also got some free printable labels for you too in case you want to give this as a gift. So let's go ahead and get started. My name is Chloe. I write the blog Boxwood Avenue. I share everyday tips for simple living. I've got lots of homemade gift ideas like this, easy and delicious recipes, and interior design ideas. You can always find me at boxwoodavenue.com. If you're going to make homemade stovetop potpourri, the longest part about it is drying out all of the ingredients. So the good news is, is that if you want to skip all of that, you can always purchase pre-dehydrated fruit, which is what I've done for these. I purchased these to use as little ornaments on gifts, but I'm going to use them in this today just so I, I can show you because drying out these oranges is going to take a long time. So if dehydrating fruit isn't for you, if you don't want to take the time because it does take a long time, just buy everything that's already dried out and then you won't even have to worry about drying it out. But if you want to dry out your own fruit, it's really simple. All you have to do is pop it in the oven. It just takes a long time. So to start doing that, you're going to slice up your fruit, whatever you're using. You could use pomegranates, you could use persimmons, you could use citrus. Today I'm using citrus because it's really beautiful. I saw it at the grocery store and it's in season. And you're going to slice the fruit into small uniform pieces. Then you will just take a silk pat baking mat or you can use parchment paper. I've got my um, cookie sheet already lined up here. But you'll slice them up and then you'll layer them so that they are not touching. You don't want them to be touching at all because then they won't dehydrate evenly. And you'll just spread them out all over the Silpat baking mat or whatever you're using. Then you'll dehydrate them in the oven for six hours. I've seen recipes online say that it only takes three hours, but that's lying. It takes a lot longer than three hours to dehydrate it, at least for me, and we live in a dry climate. If you live in a humid climate, it might even take you a little bit longer. I've also got some dried herbs that I'm using today. I dried out this rosemary from my garden, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I've got whole allspice and whole cloves and then cinnamon sticks. And I'll say that these spices are the most important ingredients. The oranges really just add beauty. They don't really add that much of a scent. Where the beautiful Christmas scent really comes from is from all of these spices. So I will say these spices are the most important. And if you're making this, you can buy them in bulk on Amazon. I've got a link for you too. I'll put that in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get started slicing up some of this fruit. I'll layer it evenly over my silk pat mat here, which I love. If you don't have one of those, this is a great little stocking stuffer that you can ask for. And then I'm going to put them in the oven and I will show you how I assemble the jars. Everything's dehydrated, or if you're just buying things already dehydrated, all you have to do is assemble it. You can put these in little bags. I like these little whack jars. I've got a link for these too. I'll put them in the description below. And I just take my ingredients and I kind of place them in so that they look really pretty. So I'll put my oranges in first, or citrus, or whatever you're using. I like to have those like layered on the outside. And then I'll add in a couple of sprigs of rosemary. And I'll layer that in so that it's really beautiful too. Maybe I'll stick this sprig on the outside. Then I will put in my cinnamon sticks. I try and keep just two cinnamon sticks per jar. If you're trying to be budget conscious, the cinnamon is really the most expensive thing here. And it goes a long way too. Once I've got that all done, I will go ahead and add in some of my cloves and allspice. And if I think that it looks a little empty, I can always add in a few more orange slices. Or more rosemary. These can just be used as kind of filler pieces. Then I'll pop my lid on. I've got these little stickers that I'm going to use, and these are so cute. They just go on the side like this. But I've also got free printable stovetop potpourri labels too if you want to go ahead and download those. There's a link below. This is a simmering potpourri. So you'll tell anybody that you give this to to just add some water and simmer it on the stove. Make sure that the water doesn't get drained out because you don't want to start a fire or burn anything. But it will make the whole house smell like Christmas. It's such a wonderful, easy, quick gift idea. It's really cost effective too. And homemade always comes from the heart. So I hope that this was inspiring to you. And if you make it, I would love to see pictures. You can tag me on Instagram. I am at Boxwood Avenue. It smells like my chocolate peppermint shortbread is about done, so I'm going to pull that out of the oven. If you want to check out that recipe, there's a video for that too. I will put a link in the description below. If this is your first time here, I hope that you'll subscribe before you go, and don't forget to visit me at boxofavenue.com.